So our answer is that Ni3PO42 is actually, its name is nickel 2 phosphate. Okay, so if it is such, then I want to give you another formula and let you try to name it. Okay, one second. Assalamualaikum, dear viewers. In my last chemistry class, I showed you all how we can turn the name of a polyatomic ion into the formula. In, as I promised, inshallah, today we will turn the formula into the name. So let me just write that down. For the polyatomic ion, we will be doing formula. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to take an example. And as I always do, I, I, I encourage you all to pause the video, think about it, and then if you have done it, then good. You can follow along. If you haven't, then let's work on it together. My example is, let's say our formula is Ni3PO4, uh, we'll just say 2. Okay. So hopefully, one second. Sorry. Hopefully you can see it. Um, this will be our formula, which we will turn into the name. So pause the video and actually try to work on it. And if you're not sure, then inshallah, we'll work on it together. Okay. So um, now what we're going to do is turn this formula into its name. So first, let, let, let's again just actually kind of name all the elements here. And I, there's nickel. Um, PO42. This uh, P we know is, is phosphorus, oxygen. Okay, so there's phosphorus, oxygen, and nickel. So nickel, we have three. I'm just working on, this is our cation. Cation is always written first. And then is our anion. So Ni3, this is our cation, always carries a magnitude or wants to become a, let me take on it on my periodic table. This is nickel. Okay, so this is actually a variable charge or a transitional metal that has a variable charge. What that means is that it can have multiple number of magnitudes. So we're just going to leave, leave it and leave this area blank for now. Then we're going to progress into our anion PO4 2. Now, if you don't think about the two uh, atoms, PO4 is actually the name of phosphate. So now we have phosphate 2, right? So what we're going to do is PO4 we know, PO4. Oh, if, if you want to know that yeah. this is a given thing I can give you, that PO4 always carries negative 3 charge. Negative charge, okay. Negative 3 charge. Negative 3, yeah. So 3 minus. What that means is that the reason I have told you is this. This is like something periodic element table that is in front of you. So you can always have a chart, have okay. a table yeah. of which uh, polyatomic ion carries how many negative charges. Mm -hmm. So that is not something to memorize. This is something you can look into it. Yeah, because you don't need to memorize it. All all you have to know is like what to do, and then you can just check out um, what the numbers would be. Okay, anyways, uh, thank you for saying that, Baba. So, um, our magnitude is 3 minus, and we have two atoms of phosphate. Right there, two atoms of phosphate, right? So, um, now, this uh, phosphate's charge now becomes 6 minus, because we're multiplying. 3 minus times our two atoms is 6 minus. So, it becomes 6 minus. Or you can do it around uh, minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. Okay, it's the same thing. Um, now what we want to do is make sure that the magnitudes for both of these, the anion and the, cat the cation and the anion, are the same but with opposite charges so that we can kind of just cancel it out. So we need that 3 times what is uh, 6. Because we need 6 plus, right? So 3 times what is 6 plus? That would be 2. 2 plus. Because 3 times 2 plus is 6 plus. Now we can easily cancel. Let me just write it across. Okay. Now we can easily cancel out our magnitudes. But the thing is, we just brought the 2. We didn't know for sure. Now we know for sure it's 2. So that's why we're going to add a Roman numeral to it. We would write this after canceling it out as an I nickel. So we're just going to write nickel 
Then since we guessed it, we guessed the two, we didn't guess it, I mean, we found out two. That's why we're going to write in no Roman numerals two. And then we're going to write phosphate. Phosphate. So our answer is that Ni3PO42 is actually, its name is nickel 2 phosphate. Okay, so if it is such, then I want to give you another formula and let you try to name it. Okay, one second. Let me erase the board okay. and then... Since I should not uh, tell you the name, I'm giving you exact thing huh. how to write. Huh. So bracket start. Okay. N H sub, uh, superscript 4, bracket close, superscript 2, S. So this is the formula given to you, name it. Yes. Um, and uh, if you want to know anything's um, charge, let me know that. Yes, okay. Um, I know that NH4 means ammonium, but Baba, what's the charge for ammonium? What's the magnitude? It always carries one positive charge. One plus, okay, thank you. Um, so we would write that as NH4, one plus, sorry, uh, plus one. One plus, and then there's two atoms of that. Now, sulfur, S is sulfur, obviously. Now, sulfur on my periodic table is is carrying a two minus charge, right? So what we need to do is it's automatically canceled out because two times uh one plus is two plus, and then two minus two minus times one is two minus. So since they're the same, just opposite charges, we can just kind of cancel it out. So the name would be ammonium. Ammonium uh, sulfide. I want to ask you why sulfide, not ammonium sulfur or ammonium sulfate. Why you choose to use the suffix of IDE, ammonium sulfide? What's the reason? Well, it's obviously not ammonium sulfur because we're turning this into an anion. And whenever you turn it into an anion, it's no more the atom itself, but it's the ion. So you turn it, um, it's, since it's an anion, you turn it into IDE. And it would not be H because this is single. It's not with someone else like NH4. Um, and it's an anion. So we're just going to write sulfide. So um, my answer is that NH42S is written as ammonium sulfide. So um, I hope you all were able to learn from this. And uh, inshallah, I will come back with another chemistry class next time. Keep watching. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.